Hi, this is Mark from Wiki Design. In this Elementor tutorial, I'm gonna show you an easy way to add a text now button like this on your website. The good news is you won't need Elementor Pro to pull this off, and you can actually use this code on any sort of HTML website, but I'm just gonna show you how I was able to pull this off inside Elementor. As you can see, when I click this button on a mobile device, it's gonna pop up with a new message, and I'm gonna show you how you can target what number it's gonna to go to, and then I'll also show you how you can fill in the body text down here. So you can see where it says, I'm interested in setting up a free consultation call. I'm gonna show you how you can easily add that uh, to the button as well. So let's just jump into the back end. Here we are on the back end of that Elementor page, and as you can see, I just have a normal button right in here. And the very first thing I recommend you do is wherever you wanna have this button, uh, go underneath advanced and then underneath responsive, just go ahead and turn this off on desktop and tablet. So have it where it only is going to show on mobile. Uh, the reason for this is because if you click this button on um, mainly on desktop, maybe on mobile if you have texting available, uh, it's gonna do nothing. So it's best to always just turn this off, especially on desktop. So as you can see when the user's on uh, mobile, it's going to only uh, activate there. So let me go back into here and show you how I have everything set up. And this is just like a normal Elementor button, so nothing uh, crazy here. The text, I just have it called text now. And underneath here, I have an icon, and I, they have an SMS icon, so I just type an MS, SMS, and it appeared. So if you want, you can have an icon. If not, no big deal. And this is basically, um, all you have to do is put in this little string right here. So I'll zoom in right here so you can see everything. Let me make this a little bit wider too. And as you can see, all you need to put underneath link is SMS colon. Um, in this case, I'm located in the United States. So I do a plus one. We have our area code and then the phone number. Um, that would be all you need to do if you don't want to have the body included. So if you don't want to have the message already like pre-filled, you can just eliminate this right here. Now, I would say in most cases, you probably do want something in the body. And so all you have to do is put in this little string right here. You want to make sure you put in question mark, uh, the and sign, and then body equals. And then this is what's going to show up in the uh, pre-filled bubble. Now, I did test this on Android 12 and iOS 15.6. So those are the current versions of iOS and Android. So everything worked good. Um, I did realize if you do not add this question mark, uh, this does not work on Android. So you wanna make sure that you have it formatted this exact way. And here are the screenshots of what it looks like on an iOS device. And then this is what it's gonna look like on an Android 12 device. Now in the beginning of this tutorial, I did mention you don't need Elementor Pro, but they do have something similar built in. So if you have Elementor Pro, you can always go underneath, uh, instead of typing in this, you can go underneath dynamic tags. And if you scroll down to actions, they have a contact URL. Once you click that, you're gonna see they have a whole bunch of stuff built in. And one of them is SMS. So you could just go ahead and just drop a number in here and it will work the same way. It, will, it won't have that body included, uh, but I think you can just include that in here. Um, but if, if you're going to do that, it, it's, you might as well just stick to, you know, not using a dynamic tag, but if you want to have a clean way and not have to mess around with that little code and you have Elementor Pro, you could always just go into here, SMS, just type in the phone number. And then when the user clicks this button, it will automatically go to a text message to that number. And that's it for this Elementor tutorial. Make sure you give it a like, subscribe to this YouTube channel and hit that bell to receive notifications when I release new tutorials like this. Again, this is Mark from Wiki Design.